So welcome back. So if you want my code as it looks right here in this video, go on Tech Tech 011. Um, I just want to start out with where I ended because I set these uh, VH guys. I, I didn't explain it properly. So if you really want to dive into it, go into W3 Schools or just Google it. And they have an example about this is the view relative to 1% of the width of the viewport. Now the viewport is the browser's window size. So if the viewport is 50 centimeters wide, then 1% or 1 VW would be 0.5 centimeter, right? So go and read about it if you want to, but that's why we can kind of align this in the right way. And the reason that I took 100 and 100 will make sense after this video. So let's try and go into the HTML just to get an overview of what we actually built here for the login view. First of all, I put in a button here, an MD mini fab, and the button that we see there is pretty much this button right here. So let me just do an inspection here of this button, and you can see this is just um, a very simple button, and it, it gets from this right here, button, MD mini fab, that's to make the round button that we just saw, that's material stuff. This FA with a name of arrow left, that's actually for the fun awesome icon set, we make an arrow left. That's why you can see an arrow in center, right? And then we have the router link. That's when I click it, go back to the main page. So we just say, go back to slash, nothing else. So that's the button. What else do we have? We also have this flex fill inside a div. So this is pretty much the login you see right here. Now the first, the flex fill is making me grab all the space in this div. So it means that take all available space for this div right here, which is the outer div here. Now that wouldn't happen unless I put in the CSS that I showed you in the last video, this min height, this height, and these positions, I wouldn't be able to grab all of it. So that's why I put this in here, okay? So now I'm available to grab all the space that I can see inside this application. The reason that is kind of a bit to the low side of this right now, that's actually because I added this, um, button in the top and that kind of pushes everything down. Okay, so that's the problem there. We'll go and fix that later. It's not important right now. So the layout, I make a row layout right here. Now the row layout just means that when I place components in here, they will be placed one by one horizontally, right? So if I had a new card, it would be shown right here and the next one would be here, not column. Then it would be vertical, like next card here, next card here. Okay, so that's just row, either row for horizontal a column for vertical placement of my components inside this div. The last one is I set all components inside this div to be center center. So it's going to try and place them center horizontally and center vertically. Again, there are other commands here. We'll look at those later. And then I place an empty card in the center. And I say that card shouldn't be more than 200 pixels wide. So that's why it's a 200 pixel card in the center. What else did I do? Well, I added this small icon, uh, sorry, icon here called lock, and then I wrote login up here. So that's why you see this information in the top. What else did I do? Well, I also added some content to the card, and the content is actually the stuff in, you can't, I can't select it here, but that's actually the stuff you see right, okay, I can select it, it's the stuff you see right here. That's actually the content of the card, all of this. So it is, <clears throat> so the content of the card is actually these guys right here, the two input fields inside the input container, and it's an empty input, and that when you put in the NP input directive here, it means that you'll get these shiny blinky blinky guys from material as well. And the placeholder is actually the username, whatever you put in here, if I put in um, email instead, and I save that, you'll see it changes to email in here, right? So that's just for the placeholder that I can show right there. And then you have two of them. I have the email and the password. And right now, the password is not actually hidden. But if we want that, we could put in the type equals, and then we could put password here. And then you would actually see the type would now be changed into actually being just dot. So you can't see the password I'm writing. Let's just keep that for now. Save that. And the last part of it is actually my buttons. And the buttons, I just added these as a row of buttons down here. I could have used the flex layout as well, but I want to show you how you can also use flex layout inside the CSS actually. So here I'm saying I want to use the flex layout and I'm going to align items right. And I just want to make some content space. Good. 
That means that I'm adding my buttons down here. I have a lost password button and a sign in button. And what did I do? Back to my HTML, very simple. Right now they don't do anything. <laughs> so it's that simple. I added a bit of decoration. I should have put that in the CSS as well. So let's just grab that from here and put it in the CSS. I'm just going to make this into a class instead. Like this, I'm going to make it into a class equals uh, login button like this just to show you I'll save that and then I'll, in the CSS I'll do a dot login button and then I'll just add the code I just removed here like this I'll save it and now the button still looks the same right but now it's actually placed inside CSS which makes it nicer because I don't have a lot of CSS store noise or style noise inside my HTML. So that's all. That's for building and now let's use it in the next lesson.